a good time. It's beautiful. It causes something about bleeding damage, I think. Okay, so here's my guy. Not wearing a shirt because I'm rolling really slowly right now. A bit of grinding, get some extra souls so I could put some upgrades on this awesome halberd I found. Here, I've got a halberd plus one. It does a lot more damage than the plus one spear. A lot heavier, though. So. Gonna have to make some extra adjustments to everything. That faulty trigger got my bidding. Just the get the dead zone. Speed. Oh. No, stupid trigger, don't do that to me. That is like a lawnmower move. It is said to be highly effective. Now, full disclosure, I have beaten Dark Souls before, and I look forward to beating it again, which is why I'm playing it now. Beat it again, this time where I can be seen beating it. Got it. Okay. Let's see. Any souls? Souls. I this level. That jerk up there. Souls in this area. Go down into the garden. See what I've got down. The dark root garden. Let's see. Here. I have not. Um. Bye. Do I have any bow? I do have a bow. I have some standard arrows. Something tells me I'm gonna want some better arrows, though. Large arrows. Only 29? Make that work. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Okay, so Let's, uh, equip the oh, wait. how do I Uh, let's put the standard arrows back on the, in the slot. I'll switch to the heavy arrows if I need. Stop. Out of the way. On to him. Out of the way. Shoot. Step, shoot, step, shoot, step, shoot, 
Step again. Oh, and I stepped too early. Step. Shoot. Step. Shoot. Step. Shoot. Step. This is gonna take a while. I, I can't read the chat just yet. Ah! Okay, shooting. Whoop. Step again, shoot. Step again, shoot. Dodge again and shoot. Dodge, shoot. Ooh, that seemed to be a critical hit. I'll get another one off. That. Got off at two shots between swing. Ooh, and I got a critical there. Oh, ow! Ow, ow, ow. Okay, time to pull back. Yep! Okay. Let me see what chat was actually trying to say to me. Answer. Oh, my voice is chopping in and out. Uh, the, must be the noise gate on my mic. I have a terrible habit of when playing with a controller, I like to lean back. This sound better? There we go. Looking better on stream. I'm gonna switch up from the halberd to the spear. Hopefully this guy didn't heal. Oh, guess who else didn't heal though? Me! Okay, here we go. Back to the battle. What's your health meter looking like? Okay, good. Still the same. Chip. Chip. Uh-oh. No, you are not gonna dive attack me. Ah! Heal. Yep. Yep. Shoot. And dodge. Shoot. Shoot. Ooh. That was a close one. What the? Why did he shrug? Why am I? Oh shoot, I'm out of arrows. Okay, uh... Switch weapons. Ow, what? Oh no! He just one shot me! Ow! Darn it, I didn't realize I'd run out of arrows that quick. Oh man. Okay, well. I guess I get to go down there and recollect it. Where's it at? Oh, clear over there. Okay, good. Whoop! Oh, you're not. Oh, you're not doing that either. Oh, you're not. Oh, you are not. Yeah! This is doing about the same amount of damage as the arrows were. It's irritating. Whoop! Oh, what? No, 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 dodge! 
Oh. Okay. Uh. Okay, I'm out. I'm just out. You know what? Took the coward's route out. I ran. The messages. What did it say? Imminent bean pole. Okay. This fire. My pyromancy. Fortunately, I am not a pyromancer. Actually, I think I'm a little under-leveled for this area. Thinking about it. I don't think I've rung the first bell yet. Bye. Actually, not entirely sure. Ah, heck with it. We'll see if I can take down the space butterfly. Whoop! Okay, well, that was an easy takedown. Those souls. Here. Needless to say, I think it's obvious at this point, I have beaten the game. I have beaten this game once before, almost twice, and then they ditched Games for Windows Live and I lost all my saves because I screwed up the switchover process. So, nothing on From Software for me losing all my save games. That was all on me. Oh, no, 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 no! Get off of me! It's a... Oh, come on. Really? I just got eaten by a weed. Really? <sighs> I'm gonna go get my souls back. I'm just gonna run past that Titanite demon, and I'm gonna get my souls back. Damn. Whoa, that was close. Die, plant. Back into the dark root garden. Gonna at least pick up my souls. I think. I don't think I've even rung the first bell. I know I've still got that sorcerer guy at the second level. Okay. My souls. Yeah! Aha! Gotcha that time, weed. Another one can just stay burrowed in the ground wherever it's hiding at. Back. Make my way up the stairs. I keep forgetting which... So I've got three different saves running. Well, I think the reason why people stream this more on Twitch than on Bloodborne is because Bloodborne's a PlayStation 4 exclusive, so you have to either use the built-in PlayStation 4 Twitch app, which, from what I understand, is not that great, or you have to stream it using a capture card, which, an HDMI capture card, I looked up the prices of those, they are expensive. 
So it's not all that surprising that more people are streaming Dark Souls than Bloodborne. Also, Dark Souls is a lot longer. Uh, one of the saves that I lost, I put over 120 hours into that one character. And I played it all the way through on uh, normal mode. And on New Games Plus, I was about to where I was start ready to start collecting the Lord's Souls. Um, I was actually collecting the... See, I think I was trying to make my way through uh, the new Londo Ruins, the Flooded City. I was trying to make my way down through there. These darn wraiths were giving me a rough time of it. And then uh, Dark Souls announced that they were going to be dropping games for Windows Live, and you could uh, make the transition and switch over your saves and everything like that. But I... I screwed up the upgrade process and lost all my save data. I'm not gonna take that. Those guys never drop anything. I would agree, I do think Dark Souls has more replay value, just because there are 10, 10 million different items. Like, Dark Souls, the game itself is built in a way that suggests it was never meant to become the large franchise title it has become. If you look at Extra Credits on YouTube, their, uh, the YouTube channel, Extra Credits, they're actually doing a stream for a... Uh, a playthrough of the main guy, Dan, streaming with James Portnow, who was is a games developer, and they talk a lot about games development, and James is the one that is their source for it, A, because he used to be a developer himself, and, uh... Dan, him, Dan the... the host of the channel. He... I don't think he's a... He's not a games developer, but he's done a lot of animation and stuff like that. I think he animates most of the channel's episodes by himself. It's a repost position. Not attacking him. But one of the things they meant that is mentioned in their Dark Souls playthrough that James mentions and kind of stresses over and over is that uh, Dark Souls just has so many different ways it can be played. Just endlessly. And how different the environments will suggest things and you always kind of know what's coming just because of visual clues. For example, the, the bridge with the dragon on it, or the fire drake, the way in here, you kind of know that that, you know that it could very easily be there, because the entire bridge is burned. Whoa, shoot! Ah, back! Okay. Lock you. Stab. Stabbed again. Stamina regen. Come around the corner, dragging all the bodies with me. But from what I understand of what people have said about Bloodborne is, uh... Uh, Bloodborne doesn't have quite the same amount of weapon variety in this. Which definitely adds to the replay value. Like, this is my first time playing through the game with a haft weapon. Or, or I, I should say with a thrust haft weapon. My, my first playthrough, I saw that YouTube playthrough video of the, uh, the cheat where the guy, or the, not a cheat, but, uh, ah! The video where the guy shows where you can like run through the game and uh, 
run through the Valley of the Drakes, and if you line things up properly and you have all the stars aligned correctly in your favor and stuff, you can get the uh, Black Knight Halberd real easy. I tried doing it. I didn't exactly make it work, but I was able to get a Black Knight Halberd early. And yeah, he wasn't kidding when he said you feel really OP in that in this game when you have that weapon very early on. It does a lot of damage. It's great. I loved it. And then again, that character got lost. Oh, oh! I got a backstab on him. I almost never get a backstab with this darn spear. Alder legging. Are they better than the leggings that I have? Then do they provide better protection? Better. Uh, a little bit better protection against some things other than... But better protect some magic. I'm gonna wear the knight, so... Yeah, they look... That's the other thing, so much of this stuff in Dark Souls is almost completely complex. Be wary of liar. Oh, still human. Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without a course. Thank you. Yes. Sincerely, I am Knight Lautrec of Kalim. I truly appreciate this, and I guarantee a reward. Only well, actually, I should say that the the Black Knight halberd isn't really overpowered. It's just really, really strong. However, it has like a three or four second swinging time to it, so you actually have to be really, really careful about timing your attacks and you're actually having to wield it two-handed. I had to wield it two-handed until... Uh, pretty much... Right now I'm kind of in like the linear stages of the game... of the game with this character, but at, there's a certain point where you get to where you can branch out and you go like one of... any one of like four or five different directions that you can go, and you can just go any of those directions at will. It's at that point when the halberd doesn't feel so overpowered because the enemies start to have a lot of health. But it's not like it makes the game like super super easy. I mean, you can still get your butt absolutely annihilated by even some of the simplest enemies. Um Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go back to the Go back to the bonfire. I'm going to become human. This is kind of risky because last time I did this, I got invaded by some dude who I'm sure was cheating. I hit him like nine times and he never took any damage. He was he was wearing like a top hat or something like that, and that was it. But uh, I'm gonna go back to the bonfire. Stop. Gonna. Gain my humanity. I'll save my souls and just put the upgrades into my spear, though. Um. I'm gonna save my souls, put it into the spears, but I want to be able to summon, uh, what's his name? Solaire. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on. Definitely upgrades into uh definitely put the upgrades into my spear. I'm gonna I'm human again. Well I use if need any. Anything forged? Well, I would like to purchase some Titanite off. Sure, sixteen hundred souls. Hopefully I can still reinforce my spear after all of that. Yes, I can. 
Ooh, do I want to put it into the halberd, though? Bird requires 16, 16 stats. I am. Get yourself neither. 15, 12. You know what? I'm going to spend the souls just because I'm about to go into a boss fight. But I am going to put them on the halberd instead because I ultimately want to be able to use the halberd in these fights rather than just the spear. The easiest way to actually avoid the PvP is just doing what I'm doing right now. Just play the game hollow. You can't be summoned, you can't be invaded, and it's what I did my first playthrough. And then when I finally did get invaded after I had the Black Knight Halberd, the... there's only one guy that kept invading me, actually, and I found it very, very satisfying to simply golf him off of the cliff right next to where he spawned. It was really kind of funny to watch. And kindle this bonfire and get some extra Estus flasks, because I'm going to need them. This boss fight I'm about to go into is one of the ones that I am the absolute 